Hi, I'm Shannon Campbell, Dean of the College of Fine and Applied Arts, and I'm here this week with another weekly vlog and a very special guest. Today I have our program coordinator for the Apparel Design and Merchandising Program in the Applied Design Department in the College of Fine and Applied Arts. Um, I'd like to introduce you to someone very special, and that is Dr. Anthony Wilson. Dr. Wilson, hi. Hi. And thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. It's always such a pleasure to meet with you and in your home, your design studio. And I know this is where you do a lot of your work, yes. where you showcase a lot of your creativity and where you inspire our students and bring out their creativity. So one, I want to thank you for the work that you do. But what I'd like to do is to allow our audience to get to know not only a little bit about what you do professionally, but also personally. So are you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start with something personal. Okay. Okay. Best place on campus to have a hideaway, get away from other people and be able to sort of just cocoon yourself. Secret place. Uh, so very well, really my office. Is it? <laughs> My office, I have a really nice view, nice uh, window, so I have a view of King Street. So yeah, so my office is one space. Another space is, um, I don't really know what the space is called, but it's um, over in the grassy area near the Appalachian sign. There's kind of some secluded areas oh, over really? there. Oh, With trees, and so yeah, so it's really nice. So I ask for my own personal reason. So one, I know that when I need to get away, I'm coming to your office. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna try to find that Appalachian sign. But also I ask, because one of the things that our viewers may not know is that you're a double alum of I Appalachian am. State University. Is I that am. correct? It is, it is. So I graduated, uh, I, I tend to not say this because it ages me, but I graduated uh, in first time in uh, 1997 from the department that I currently teach in. Uh, it was called- At age 12. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, at that time it was called um, clothing and textiles. Mm -hmm. And so it's since become apparel design and merchandising. So I graduated then, then moved away and worked in industry in New York and uh, Florida and, mm -hmm. and got recruited to go back to New York. Then came back to North Carolina, worked here for a while and then came back for grad school in 2004. Graduated in 2006, then started a custom clothing design business, which I still have and then was offered a nine-month appointment to teach at ASU. Didn't know that that was even on my trajectory, realized I enjoyed it, mm -hmm. and decided to, at the end of that, go to NC State to get my PhD, and then came back, and I've been back in a full-time capacity since 2014. Well, we're so fortunate to have you, um, but tell me a little bit about this custom clothing business that you say you still have. Okay, so I started Anthony Wilson Designs in 2006, and when I first started it, it was in the gray, building next to Mystery Hill out mm -hmm. in Blowing Rock. And so, and then I've been relocated to just outside of Greensboro. And so I do custom clothing designs for a variety of clients. Um, you're one of my clients. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I've, I've done some things for some other people on campus. I have clients that I've had for well over 10 years mm -hmm. and I do specific things for uh, events, uh, for everyday wear, men, women, children, whatever is required. Dr. Wilson, there's one thing that I wanted to talk to you about, and, and I certainly don't mean to put you on the spot, but I've always been curious about this major because sometimes it can be seen as not inclusive, not body positive, somewhat frivolous. And I know you personally, and I know you are not that person. And so I always wondered, how do you deal with what can be perceived as a conflict between the individual that you are and the industry in which you have not only worked, but excelled in. Yeah, so so yes, it, that, that perception, perception does exist and there are aspects of the industry that can be that way. Um, however, me personally, my design philosophy uh, consists of, um, well, I'll say this, early on in my career, I, it, it, it was a, an internal conflict for me to bridge the gap of something that I felt like I was gifted in and was interested in, and also do something that's meaningful to society and, and, and the people and my clients that I do things for. And so I, over the years, I've realized that when I'm doing specifically doing custom clothing for, uh, for people, I, I really like to do things. You mentioned body positivity and different silhouettes and things like that. 
I specifically like doing things for people that have, um, that can't necessarily go into a store and buy things off the rack and find something that's gonna fit them perfectly and make them feel and look their best. And we all know that when we walk into a space looking our best, we show up different in the room. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we just do. And so I like the transformation that takes place when you see someone looking their best. And what I've learned over the years is when a person sees themselves looking the best version of themselves, it also can allow them to then start thinking about how they can become the best versions of themselves, you know, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and, and, and you know, bridge that gap to where they can be the best versions of themselves all around. So you see fashion as deep, meaningful, and transformative Absolutely. to a person's actual personhood. Absolutely. Um, and I love that. And I've seen the work that you've done. And like I said, I'm a repeat client. So I know the way that you can take an idea, make it come to fruition. And you have an eye that a client doesn't have. I can say, I want this and this out of a magazine and you will transform it um, in a way that makes me look my best. And I can tell you, I do actually feel different. I do show up differently. I stand a little taller. Um, head is up a little bit more. And so um, I really appreciate what you bring. You bring an ethic to an industry that can be perceived as a place that lacks that. Um, and thank you for doing that. Absolutely. Your clothing, it's not only superiorly made, but it is impeccably designed. And, and that's not easy to find. And um, so you tend to really share that insight, that entrepreneurial spirit with the students also, which I think is really important. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about what makes our program here in Boone so special? So here in Boone, we require, so our, our program here is a dual track program. So we require our students to take both merchandising and design courses. So we feel like it makes them you know, really well-rounded mm -hmm. and uh, it's a thing that employers have really enjoyed and, and like and value about the students when they go into internship situations and also for employment. They kind of they have a, a more well-rounded and understand both sides of mm -hmm. the uh, industry. Now, I mentioned Boone specifically because I know that you're also spearheading a new ADM program in Hickory. Can you tell me about what makes that program special and distinct from our Boone offering? Okay, so we, well in Hickory, we're gonna have two distinct tracks. We're gonna have a design track and a merchandising track, and we'll, which will allow us to delve in deeper into each one of those uh, areas. So each track will have the opportunity to take one or two courses in the other program or in the other track. However, they will have a distinct focus. And so it will also be more technology driven and more software driven. Now tell me about some of this technology and software. So we'll have three different types of uh, industry pattern making software that has 2D and 3D components. Wow. And we'll also have um, you know, state-of-the-art equipment. We have machinery, um, automated cutters, uh, industrial machine, sewing machines, uh, buttonhole machines, line stitch machines. We have all you know, the, the, the latest technology with um, apparel and, and assembly, uh, assembly of apparel. Wow. and getting things from um, initial uh, design concepts to a completed environment. There will also be uh, co-op situations to work with industry and make those, bridge those connections as well. So they'll have an opportunity really in both programs, Boone and, and uh, Hickory, to uh, make connections with industry that will help them once they move on into employment. That's wonderful because one of the things that I am really concerned about is making sure our programs are the place where innovation and excellence converge. And I have to say, you are really leading a program that does that. And so we are also grateful and we look to ADM because you are the first program to go to Hickory. Um, and so we are all invested in your success um, and the student's success. And I want to ask you something else personal because we've gone really professional. So I'm going to back up to something right. personal. If I want the best pizza, oh, wow. with, but, but I've got to be close to campus, where do I go? So my go-to is Mellow Mushroom. Oh. Yeah. yeah. yeah a really good pizza, really good environment. The people that work there are really nice and friendly, uh -huh. good drinks. 
Okay. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Mellow mushroom. Put that on my list. Mellow mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And now there is one other thing that I really wanted to focus on and talk about because it is a signature event, not only for the program and um, your department, but also for the college. Because what this event does is it is the ending event of our College Connect event. And as you know, since I arrived, one of the things that I have been really passionate about is ensuring that our college is seen as one related, connected uh, place. Not a place with disparate disciplines that are doing their own thing, but one college dedicated to our student first approach, experiential learning. And so with that, we have bookended our College Connect event with Showcase. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to me about Showcase, what it is, how long you've been involved with it, and also how our viewers might participate or be involved in Showcase. Okay, so Showcase is basically our senior exhibition of designs from our uh, students. So there's a pre-show and a main show, and so the pre-show consists of the students that are in uh, the foundational courses, the um, uh, apparel design studio two, sustainability in the apparel industry. There's an opportunity for students to create garments outside of class and they can showcase those there. And then there's also a small section of faculty design. So after that, it is, uh, is the main show, which is the senior design students. And so they're tasked with creating a three piece collection and that is exhibited on the runway. And so, uh, so yeah, so it's a, re it's a really big event for our, us, for our, for our program, for our department, for the college. Um, we also have a, a 3D design component that Browseware, one of the softwares that we use, uh, sponsors and gives students a prize for that. So it's a really big, exciting event. Students really look forward to it every year. Mm -hmm. uh, they come into the program excited about working towards it, a little nervous, but they all uh, do a really good job. I'm always very, very proud of them. So, yeah. Now, tell me about your involvement with it now as the program coordinator. So I was involved in, I participated in Showcase as a student way back when, probably I think my first Showcase was in 90, 1994, 1995. And so I've seen it grow. So from that time we had, you know, our program was really small. Mm -hmm. I think I was probably one of 10 to 15 majors at that time. And when I came back in uh, 2014, uh, or actually in 20, 2009, when I did the nine month appointment, I had about 16 majors. Okay. Now we've grown to over 124 wow. uh, majors. And then Showcase, when I first started, I had about you know, 20 students that participated mm -hmm. in 2014. Now I have well over 100 and it crosses disciplines. So I co co collaborate with the communications department, commercial photography, graphic design. So those departments help in branding of the showcase and, and getting that together, creating programs, posters, pamphlets, flyers, all of that. They, they do the photographing and so that we can have that for uh, promotion afterwards and during. So yeah, so it's a very collaborative thing across our college, not just our department. That's fantastic. That is wonderful. Um, and so as we come to a close here, is there anything, is there any sort of a sneak peek that you can give our viewers about what we can expect in the upcoming showcase? Okay, so showcase, the date for showcase is uh, April 27th, uh, 2024. So it's always the Saturday before the last day of class uh, each spring semester. So I think we'll just be continue doing more of what we always do. There's always, uh, so this is a time, this is what, and oftentimes it may be the last opportunity for our students to create whatever they want to and be as creative as they want to be. So there's never really a specific thing. So, um, you know, the thing I will say is that the students every year, they just, they, they up the ante and, and, and the quality of the garments are, are better every year. Mm -hmm. The choices of fabrics, the choices of colors, the choices of their individual themes are better um, or, or elevated, I'll say. Right. Every, every year it just gets better and better and better. And we also introduce more technology and software. And so it's, it's, it's uh, yeah, it'll be a spectacle to behold and see. So it's a can't miss event. It, absolutely. Okay. Well, absolutely. you've heard it here first from Dr. Anthony Wilson. You do not want to miss Showcase and you certainly want to do everything that you can to support not only Dr. Wilson, but his colleagues and his wonderful students. And you can always do that in a number of ways. There are a number of fundraising opportunities yes. and certainly by attending Showcase. It will be a treat for all.